So welcome to part two, Aquarius, Aquarius reading part two uh, on the 25th of April is this, this reading. So there's a part one out there if, if this is the first video that you click on. I have no idea what happened. The technical stuff for me lately has been a bit um, crazy. Uh, I just paused the video and there's no harm in pausing the video. I do it all the time. If I need to have a sip of water or if I need to cough or need to whatever like this, I don't know. And then it lost all contact and and went to save the went to save the um, the video and then I can't continue on with that video. So it's really silly. When I ended it to say that I was I was going to change the light or get the light on because it was getting a bit dark here. So 10 10 on the clock. For me that's a completion or like a double completion. I don't think there's any sort of accidents happening in the world i think everything is sort of so this might have meaning for you this is a sudden disruption this is sort of okay and i was i was gonna start over again but i was like no i'm gonna keep it in because it's 10 minutes of authenticity and i and then you already have the cards on the table and blah 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 so i'm just gonna continue now and whoever is understanding why this is happening or you know use it as a message or just think that okay it was just a two-part video this time um there's something to it because i i just felt like um this disruption or this change this sudden change for you whatever it is that is going to come into your life or whatever it is that is going to have i almost feel like a change of heart or something like that I don't think it's every area like all of a sudden the spiritual area is going to shift or the health is going to shift or the relationships are going to shift or money is going to shift um it's something overlaying something overlaying everything that shifts and therefore it affects all of these areas i hope that makes sense like like having that baby having that baby it, it will shift almost every area for you. Um, you might actually be one somebody who's having this baby, preparing for this baby. I mean, it, it does, does definitely change your outlook on life, like the spiritual path. It changes the, the uh, whole auto autonomy of the body. Uh, it changes, I mean, it affects your relationships. Um, Money-wise, you're probably in a different situation than if you're working. Now you're home with your baby, blah, blah, blah. It might be a sucky uh, metaphor, but there, I just want to say it's not, I don't think that there's one thing happening big to, due to your health or, and then another happening due to your relationship. And then a third, I think there's one, one disruption. There's one major overlaying thing that is happening that sh shifts each and every one of these areas or it enhances them or or puts them in a different light or because I wanted to change the light here it got a bit dark and so I went to put them like more light on so something's coming to a close something is shutting down and something is turning out the in not in the way that you thought it was going to turn out and so you felt like it got a bit dark and that that was that was it like a double completion it's almost like, okay, if there's a relationship you thought was going to go somewhere, it's not, it, all of a sudden it's not going to go there. And, and maybe you thought you were going to go back to that relationship eventually, but not only are you not going to go back to that relationship, you're not going to go back to that whole decade th that that energy brought. So we're completely, there's a complete completion and we're moving on from that. And it shifts every area, every area of your life. Then we have number nine, uh, suffering in silence. So there's something going on here that you're not really sharing with the world. It's number nine. Number nine speaks for, speaks for an ending, and I and the, I strongly feel the ending here. Uh, I'm sometimes drawn to say that it speaks about the unconditional energy as well, but it's a strong ending of something. And we have the blue border, which speaks about um, your your throat energy center, um, which is speaking your truth, being authentic, uh, putting your foot down, claiming like what's yours in the world, and 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 feeling 
feeling like it's your path, it's your true path. You're not living somebody else's wants or wishes or you're not doing something to balance out something for somebody else or to, or to get validation or credit or something like that. This is purely for, like what authentically feels like you. And I think that where you came from or this disruption that's happening or leading up to this disruption, it's a bit of both, I feel. So take whatever resonates with you. It's either like whatever has, has brought you to this place, to this very place now, where you are shifting everything, what has been going on for you, what, what you have dealt with during that period, I don't feel like you've shared with all that many people at all. Uh, or, or slash and, the thing that happens that will shift now every area, you're not talking to too many people about it either. So it says suffering in silence. And I think that's, I'm, sometimes I'm not drawn whatsoever to the words on the bottom. And, but this time I'm, I'm really drawn to them. So this is you really sitting there suffering in silence and not really sharing all that much. It's like an internal journey for you. And you get to decide whether you feel like that's a good thing or that's a bad thing that you want to, I, I don't feel like the guidance is coming through here as, excuse me, you should do this or you should do that because that's, that this is when, this is what's going to feel better for you or this is, you know, closing something in for you. I don't feel that guidance at all. I, f I just feel like this is sort of just telling what you're doing. You're not sharing it with too many people. It's coming to an end and you're moving on. And then there's like a huge realization. It says number seven there. So again, I, I'd say with the today's day and combining and then the, t then the first disruption, which is quite beautiful, the 16, I mean six, uh, sorry, not uh, <laughs> one is all about new beginnings and six is about the totality of you, the complete love for yourself, the, connect the connectivity with you and your inner most inner intuition most inner being um is those two combined that leads to this number seven and now we're speaking about crown the crown chakra and if you don't speak chakra language i just say this is like your your grand opening for that contact with that most outmost inner can you say outmost inner with that most inner being that uh, beautiful connection that's opening up to everything that is just pure so i feel like this it might be something that's shaking you up a bit but i think it's something that you want that is shaking you up to lead you on a, on the right path it's it's almost like something something grand happens and you might not like you would have eventually gone down this route eventually but i feel like this sort of accelerates everything it's sort of, it's sort of like a catalyst situation for you so that you sort of speed up everything and you move straight there straight away um for this grand opening for this connecting in with your higher self and understanding like the the clear path that you're now upon and it's yet again a black border so the universe is really backing you up on this it's like you don't ha even though you suffer in silence you don't to talk to too many people about it about your like your deepest feelings about it you are guided you are protected you are seen maybe more so from the non-physical because because you're not sharing too much because you're not sharing with your friends or sharing with your like your physical people here on earth uh but there's there's support there for sure so let's see what else specifically is coming out for you, Aquarius. By the way, I'm using the Psyche Tarot deck by John Holland. And I like it a lot because of the all the numbers and all the colors are so clear and vivid and yeah.
Wow. So yeah, this is what we're stepping into. So we have number one, and this is awareness on the bottom. So yet again, a black border. So there's a complete shift here for you. Um, it's going fast. It's changing fast, and it's making you... It's going to... It's going to... It's almost like... Some call it like the dark night of the soul. Some call it um, like the karma wheel, however you want to put this. Um, it's something that forces you to look at what really matters to you. There's something that forces you to bring out that, that deep, deep power of yourself. If you, if you ever question your power, if you ever question your control, um, your awareness, like your self-awareness, your, your, um, ability to just fully understand yourself and fully understand why things are happening the way that they are happening in your life is like you're almost you want to get to this place so it's not like something is happening that you don't want ever 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 there it's just not at least not in my book ever 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 is there something being put like on your path that you don't somewhere somehow want and you might straight away just wanting to debate that or say that's not true because I've gone through hell and back and I didn't I didn't choose that I didn't want that no maybe you didn't maybe you wouldn't have s sat down and this is what I want I want pure hell <laughs> that would bring me to pure heaven but you ask for your Aquarius and Aquarius is all about like blazing a trail which means walking a path that nobody else has ever walked before and if you're the first one walking there you're going to feel it and you're sort of the freedom you're the freedom I, I i guess every person to some degree wants freedom every person there's or rather i could say this because that resonates probably with a whole lot more people every person does not want to be controlled you want to lead your own life and you want to decide and, and, and like, this is what I want to do. And you don't get to tell me, you know how you fought your parents because they told you to do one thing you needed to do another, even though you agreed with the thing that they said, but you needed to put your foot down and say, this is what I want. So I need to do the opposite now, even though it doesn't work. Um, it's like, don't control me. And Aquarius is all about, if you're mentioning controlling me, I'm gone. Um, so this is like a, this is like a, this story that happens now is to, I feel like it's some sort of waking up call. It's some sort of, sh it's shaking you a bit, but it's for, it's, I don't want to say it's for your own good. <laughs> it's, it's because it's something you want. You want to, it's this awareness. You want to be aware. You want to be aware of your own being. You want to be aware of why things are happening in your life. You want to be aware of where you're going. You want to have the awareness about yourself and other people so that you can create whatever you want to create. And, and this is a new beginning. It's a new beginning point for you. It's like you're starting over. You're starting fresh. You're leaving so much behind. And this thing, this shift that I'm talking about, as the more that I feel into this, this shift might not have happened now. It might happen for some of you guys now because I started out saying that, but it's a general reading to take it however, it, like you will know if this shift has already happened for you. Then it could have been like three years ago or five years ago or a year ago, like not right now. Um, two, three years ago. And it's like a, that shifted things. You did not expect to go down that route. You thought it was going to be a different outcome, but something shifted and therefore everything else shifted. And I think that was the time you didn't really share that with all that many people. I think people around you thought you were still like the same Aquarius as ever. Uh, but this suffer suffering in silence, I think that's really true. It has opened up something for you. And that's, I don't, I don't need, so the more I talk about it, the more I feel like 
It's actually now quite grand that I kept. <laughs> I'm giving myself props here, just you know, just a bit of a warning here now, because I'm about to, yeah, celebrate myself here a bit. I'm really happy that I kept the f that I didn't delete the first video, because it now makes so much sense to me. Because it's okay. We started talking, and ten minutes in, we had like a double. We have a ten ten situation. It's like a double comp completion there's an ending there's a new beginning but it's also like a complete completion and I felt like it, it got really like all of a sudden it got really dark in here and so I went to I went I went to put the light on and then like everything shut off like everything shut off I couldn't continue to record so here we're starting over with this fresh new video and now it feels like oh wait a minute it's not now that this disruption is happening it actually has already happened. That was the part one. We're now in part two. We're doing a part two video here now. And so let's leave the part one video behind and step into this part two video because I feel like, I don't feel like the disruption in this part two video is happening now or is about to happen, which is about to sh shift and change everything for you. I feel like it has already taken place and you're already here it forced you to open up or start to open up or start to look at yourself or look at your life in a different light, literally in a different light, changing your light bulbs at home, maybe. Uh, and, and you've been almost forced to go into this awareness, but I want to stress, I don't want to stress anything. I want to highlight how much it's it's about something you want like i said you might have chosen a different you might have chosen a different um way of looking at it you might have chosen a, a different um route if you had a chance to do it but this route that you've taken, that you might feel like it's not even I was taking it. It was somebody else that did this to me or somebody else, something else shifted that this happened or whatever, whatever went down. This is the path that you want because that's the path that the quickest has awoken you, has awakened, awakened you. Okay. Um, I'm going to go into the extended. So there's going to be, it's a bit divided here now. It's a bit like disruptive. Um, so I'm going to go into the extended. So if you feel like you're resonating with this, come to the extended, um, which is in the description box down below. Uh, if this is where we part ways, then thank you so much for listening. And I hope to see you back in a week for your love reading. Take care, guys. Bye, Chris.